Thank you, Toastmaster Chandrika, for the wonderful introduction. Except the part coding, I am not very good at it. <clears throat> so, thank you, everyone, and good morning to all the fellow Toastmasters. You all must be wondering what are we going to uplift today? Is it uplifting your spirits, your day, um, society, women empowerment? Well, well, the list is endless. However, I hereby present a proposal to you to uplift the social, cognitive, and physical aspects of children. Although I intended for this proposal to be for underprivileged children, supported of an NGO supported by my mother, but while framing this proposal, I thought anyone and everyone can benefit from it can benefit from it who has a willingness to go out of their comfort zone and bring a change to a child's life. Here are some facts which every Indian should be aware of in order to come together and work towards this cause. Number one, 40% of India's population is below the age of 18 years, which is world's largest child population. Second, one in every 10 children is disabled in India which is due to lack of physical development. During 2020, 50,000 children were abducted or kidnapped, which is due to lack of social or moral development. At least 35 million children in India have never been to any school, which is due to lack of cognitive or social intellectual development. Well, these facts are cited from Times of India, in the Sun Times, and some other Google websites. Now, what do you think the root cause is? It's poverty. Poverty can have a complicated but profound effect on, the, on a child. Now, there are many NGOs who are working towards poverty eradication, child labor, child education. However, the success rate is very meager. The reason is simple lack of people's participation. We cannot bring a change in society without active participation from people. Therefore, as part of this proposal today, I'm planning to do something which I've never done before and will definitely require each one of yours support to provide a better future to a child in a number of ways. In a number of ways. <clears throat> I'm planning to put up stalls around children's parks, museums, outside schools, where I can seek more attention to educate people towards this cause. Fortunately, I have a bunch of friends who are willing to lend support. So to put up these stalls, I'll first have to put up a fundraiser event. It will require my friends help to sell tickets, run a booth, or make pamphlets to clearly define what type of aid we can give. So it could be food, medical care, sports equipment, clean water, or maybe supporting an orphanage. Well, volunteering your time and efforts to children can make a very, very big impact. Through these stalls, I would be seeking volunteers to help organize inventory, supervise events, and distribute aid for underprivileged children. If someone is a professional with a particular skill, then they might be able to offer their services free of charge to help reduce an administrative cost for the charity. Now, we can also go for offline interactions. And if you think we cannot do offline interactions during uh, the pandemic, I've done this as part of, uh, am I audible? I've done this as part of Disha initiative with the NetWest group, wherein one time we went to a village in Gurugram to teach children, and next time Corona happened. So since then, I'm taking their online workshops only. And recently, in fact, a couple of months back, I taught them how to improve their vocabulary and communication skills. Thanks to Toastmasters, who has given me this confidence and ability to teach children. Trust me, it's a very liberating experience. Another aspect of these stalls will be able to sell goods to raise money for children and give the proceeds to charity. I'm sure strangers are willing to buy things just to help out a good cause. 
So it could be either selling some handcrafted goods or as good or as simple as putting up a lemonade stand. I would also be encouraging people to make charity, not in the form of money, but many children do not have basic necessities. So new clothes, books, and toys can make a big difference in their life. I'll work with my friends, collect these supplies, and identify a local charity who would be willing to distribute these for us. I've done this as well as part of, again, Risha Initiative with the Netwest Group, wherein we send gifts to children on the occasion of Diwali or say be a secret center around Christmas time. You know, as they say, no effort is too small or too large to make. Lastly, I don't think there is any need to explain why should we even care about these underprivileged children? Well, we all know that they are the future. <clears throat> these children will inherit this world. If we let them grow up like this, there is a very slim chance they'll become productive members of society. Also, I must share that once a friend asked me to elucidate my five long-term goals. And I said, one of them is to get associated with a social cause. And I think after following up with this proposal, I'll definitely be successful in achieving that. Therefore, in the end, I'm gonna leave you with a thought to think how you will do things differently or anything that you have gained out of this session today, uh, which can you know, provide uh, enormous benefits to the society. So thank you and back to Toastmaster of the Day.